The district presidents are meeting to share ideas, to find out what other districts are doing, to look at successful practices, to look at things that say, oops, we made a mistake on this one, try not to make the same mistake. They need to know that they are the leaders of their local units. The local units depend on them for leadership, and we're trying to make sure that we're producing the strongest leaders that we can in the state of Texas. Every this DPLC I've been to has been different, and this one has been more of the small group, which I think has been a very effective way of doing it, because when you're just sitting there in a classroom style, it's pretty much one-way communication. You're receiving what the presenter is giving, but when you're in the small groups and they give you an assignment and you can work together, it becomes more personal. We have really a great team, and it is a team of district presidents this year, who are focused on making things better, not only for the organization, but our personal lives. And we are focused and work together as a team to make everything happen that is as good as it possibly can be. I'm hoping that our district presidents go back to their district excited, eager to try out new ideas, to try out uh, things that they've learned from the other district presidents and be a strong leader for their local units because that's what we need. We need excitement. We need people to say, I like what I'm doing. I'm making a difference and that everyone likes to make a difference. We are inspired to try new things because, you know, it, it's catchy. If, if you're with someone that's real energized, then you become energized, or that's the way I am. I get real motivated to come back and go home and, oh, I want to try these things. Then that's what these meetings down here mean to us, because we see some of these things that we would love to do, to love to incorporate. That's what keeps us going. I love the camaraderie among the retirees. We all have something in common. We've all been there. We've all done that. And now we're actually getting to not have all the children, but actually do the work of TRTA. I really think that the social side is a very important thing that we kind of under stress a little bit. And to me, the, the, the chance of social interaction, particularly when people become closeted after they've retired, that's a very good thing we can do. I think it's very beneficial for the individual because it keeps your mind sharp and you get to uh, have a chance just to get out and have lunch with somebody that you might not have a chance to do otherwise. The more we can be around the people that we love and worked with, I think the more we have in common. And that got me going because I thought, we do care about our health care. We do care about our TRS. All of that is important to us. And I thought working together with my colleagues was what inspired me. I think if every retiree would give at least an hour a month to further our, the works of our organization and to further the works of our local units and our district, we're unstoppable. There's not much that, that anybody can do to stop us because we'll be so strong. We had a wonderful, wonderful gift handed in our laps. Our annuity, our health insurance, and we need to protect that. We need to, to make sure that those coming after us have the same advantages that we do.